It's Wolf with another Club Penguin single player video. Um, well, not just video tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make mods for Club Penguin single player. So this is really cool. I actually figured this out by accident. There is a file somewhere in the files um, when you install the game originally that kind of tells you how to do this. But I think I read that and still didn't really get it. So I wanted to make a video about it because it's not too challenging, but it is a little bit of a process because there's like some file structures and stuff you got to get correct so the simple way that club penguin mods work is that they they replace uh the swift files in the game with other swift files so i'm probably gonna try to remember to like make a little diagram but pretty much you know when a game when you play a game you know stuff loads in the game is like okay i need to i need to load this specific file and then you know your computer has that file saved somewhere and then the game loads that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace a room actually uh in in the game but you can replace because everything in club Angler is made of swifts pretty much you can replace a lot of different stuff and like change a lot of different stuff it is kind of a pain to make swift files because they the only real way to easily make like proper interactable swift files like club penguin uses is using some form of adobe flash or other adobe software that can export those i either should have or will have soon a tutorial out about how to make really simple swift files and shotcut that's pretty much just like a picture or a video that's been turned into a swift file so that's kind of cool but you can't really make any actual rooms like that you won't be able to interact with doors or anything like that that way but nonetheless uh there's also a lot of swift files that already exist for club penguin both custom ones from private servers and stuff like that and then also the original club penguin had you know multiple variations of different rooms and characters and all that stuff and you can usually find that on like the club penguin wiki or anything like that but also another thing to mention before i get into this I I, screw, I I didn't screw up, but I didn't realize something. This is really, really important talking about Swifts and mods with Club Penguin single player. Since Swift files are being replaced, you may need to clear your cache every now and again. And if you're using web browser, you just clear it like you would normally clear a web browser cache. But if you're using the flash projector, which I've been using for all these videos, you need to clear that. Well, the only way I know to clear it is through a batch file. This is included in that... Uh, installation guide um, google doc that I'll, I'll link it again in the description you can download this and then when you run this it clears your cache for the flash projector i screwed up earlier and like didn't realize that and ended up reinstalling everything because i didn't get what was going on but yeah so if you go to turn a mod on or off and it doesn't work that's that's probably why you just need to clear your cache so yeah i guess let's let's get into it though now that i've kind of explained stuff so because i reinstalled things i don't actually have the mods that i usually that i like already had in previous videos those aren't on there any actually let me just eject this so i don't click on it by accident again okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to replace the plaza we're gonna make a, a mod that replaces the plaza with the version of the plaza that was around when club penguin shut down so i have that in my club penguin stuff folder here so here's the swift file for that you can open swift files in the adobe projector on their own also so here's the plaza that is um we're gonna be replacing the the old plaza with let me turn the game on real quick and i'll show you guys what it looks like right now all right so we are loading into the game here just gonna go ahead and show you guys the plaza real quick to uh see that it's still the original one before we actually start so here it is the old plaza the original one with the stage and stuff now we are going to go ahead and make that mod so we'll shut the game off you should probably shut the game off i don't know if it can screw things up if you leave it on when you do this but anyway um so we're gonna go into mods so like I said, we only have two mods in here right now because I reinstalled the game, not realizing I only needed to clear my cache. But I just wanted to show real quick also, the example mod is a good example of what I was talking about. So inside of here, it um, re like goes through the file structure of, of like the stuff that the game loads in. And the example mod replaces your penguin with a puffle. And so as you guys can see here, the Swift file that is in this mod is called penguin. When you open it up, it's actually a puffle. It's kind of hard to see because um the way that like it's shaped or whatever. But see, there's the the puffle. And the reason it's called Penguin is because when you check mark the example mod within the mod menu, it loads that instead of the normal Penguin Swift for the normal Penguin character. So we are going to go ahead make a new folder here. We're going to call it um, New Plaza. Just you can name your mod whatever you want. I'm just calling it that because it's accurate. And then we're going to make a um, new text file called i think it's mod info let me double check one of the other ones yeah so mod info 
if we go into here, we can add, I'm trying to remember, I think like name and stuff. One second, let me, <laughs> let me look at this one again. And let's just, uh, so name, author, version, description. So you don't really need to fill this out, but you can, and it's not a bad idea. So um, I'm just gonna do that and like fill this out really quick and that'll show you guys what it does later on. All right, so I've gone ahead and added in the mod info there that just kind of explains what it is. And that'll actually show up in the, the mod manager. Um, so yeah, so now we need to do, I'm trying to remember, I think it's play v2. Then content global rooms. And from there, we should be able to just put the new plaza in. Well, actually, let's make it lowercase first so that way it matches up with the uh, original file. So plop that into there. And I'm just gonna go ahead through another mod real quick and check and make sure that we had the file structure right. So play v2 content global, and then that one says penguin because it changed the penguin, but we needed rooms because it changed room. So the mod should be all set up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually click this to clear the uh, cache real quick of the, the flash projector. So that should be cleared. So now when we enable this, everything should work. Go ahead and click new plaza. So this is what I was talking about. So New Plaza, Wolfie, you know, it tells you all the info. So that's all the info we put in that text document. So now we turn on New Plaza and then hop back into the game. We should have the New Plaza from the shutdown waddle on party. All right, so here we are logging back into the game real quick. And then um, once we get all connected and everything, it should, uh, should go to the Plaza and it should be the uh, new one. And there it is. There's... There's a new plaza, so um, like I said, that's most of the mods on Club Penguin single player work that way. They replace things, even the really complicated um, Communist Penguin mod that I mentioned a few times. It's just replacing Swift files, so it's pretty cool. I don't, th I think it like depends on the Swift file that you have, if like doors and stuff like that work. But yeah, it's really cool to see it like in here, as you guys can see, like at least highlighting everything works, and the penguin still moves around and um, collisions I believe still works so, like my peng my penguin isn't going up the walls or anything like that. So that is about it for the mod stuff that I that I wanted to show in this video. As I keep saying you can do that whole process to change pretty much anything in the game to a different swift file so there's there's a lot of different stuff you can do. Eventually I'm going to do a playthrough of communist penguin probably and you guys will see just how creative people can get with it especially if they actually have access to like flash and can like fully edit swift files and stuff. So real quick though at the end here that was how to do that and just one other thing I want to show is just turning the mod mods off and if it doesn't turn off like it, it kind of depends with with cache stuff if like things decide to to change or not when you actually turn them off or not so we'll go ahead and turn that off and then we'll see if it fixes itself or not if not i'll just show you guys again that the running the uh thing fixes it All right so we're loaded in so okay so even though i turned the mod off it still is showing this version so i'm going to show you guys what you need to do is quit the game turn it off again um, and then just run that batch file that I told you guys about that's linked, that's, that's, it's in the document, the installation document walkthrough thing. It's all the way down at the bottom and, uh, you can download it. So if we run that and then now let's try it again, start the game up again. Now, uh, now that I've cleared the cache, it should be reset back to the original version because I turned the mod off already. This had me freaked out earlier because I had, like, reinstalled the game and stuff was Stuff was still weird, mods were still on. I was like, I don't understand what's happening. How is it still there? And then it hit me that like the cache was probably not cleared. So there we go. So since I cleared the cache, the original room is back now. So if stuff is not turning on or off or not working correctly, just try doing that and that will maybe fix the issue. But anyhow, that's that's it for this video. Hopefully some people will uh, make some more mods and stuff and I'll see you guys in other videos and bye bye